So we got our background image is looking good. Now we want to fine tune it and set the width and height to this thing to be exactly 100 by 100 so it perfectly fits in our album artwork. So you know what? Obviously I'm going to go with the most obvious thing to do and that's just to set CSS width and height attribute to these things and, and see what happens. So let's go to our artwork class because that's the class we're going to set the width and height in the artwork class because all of these have that same class and that's going to be common throughout them all. So let me go width equals 100 pixels and height equals 100 pixels. All right. So now let's go ahead and preview this guy. Uh, nah, not quite, right? I mean, um, it seems like it's, I mean, this is not a perfect square. This seems to be 100 high, but not quite 100 wide. And, and I could prove that, let's see, I could prove that by using my measure it tool, obviously to myself. And I'll just take the whole height round about, um, there we go, 100. I didn't quite get it right. Yeah, that's not that's not it. I mean, the height's almost there. See, I mean, I'm just mi missing a, I think like a little pixel up top over here, but that's not exactly what I want. So, I wonder what's causing this. Well, when I'm in a situation like this, I've done. I mean, look, my my uh, CSS by this point is pretty pretty large so it's kinda hard to figure out what's what so I'm gonna go to Firefox uh, you know what before I even do that hang on I, I have to let me preview these things in all the browsers so okay so this has the same behavior here it looks almost exactly the same in Firefox and Safari and last but certainly not least is Internet Explorer yeah so kind of the same thing they're all kinda of looking they are, they almost have the full width but not quite the full height so let me go in Firefox and I'm using that web developer plugin and there's this great option over here CSS view style information and you see how it kinda of creates a little red uh, circle around everything um, anything that I hover over if I do that and click on it I'll see all the different code that's affecting this one cell and well this is the YUI the Yahoo reset and this is my stuff so in that cell that I picked it says oh, artwork is affecting it the Eno class is affecting it all this other stuff is also affecting it I don't see anything in particular but you know what I remember yeah, there we go. We set a class for this artwork when we had the placeholders called, um, there it is, called fixed width. Remember, we set it to 1% because um, Internet Explorer has a different way of calculating these values, and because uh, calculating the table cell values, we added a placeholder, it wasn't lining right, and we needed to add 1% to that just so it kind of looked right. But um, since we're not using that, I think. I think we could get rid of that actual declaration. So um, here it is. So here it is in my CSS. Before I commit to completely deleting it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment it out first and then give a preview in the other browsers. Um, let's see. I'll start off with Firefox and see what Firefox does. Oh, wow, look at that. So I commented out that with 1%, and now it's like perfect in Firefox. Let's see, Safari, look at that, Safari, perfect in there too. And now let's go to Internet Explorer, so I know it's going to break it. So keep your eye on the artwork images over here. Boom, look at that big space, because now it's doing that recalculating thing and way more complicated than I want to figure out. But it almost seemed like when it still had that width of 1%, it looked and the other the 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 width that we define it almost looked better than now this is harder to deal with so okay what I'm gonna do is we obviously need this width at 1% but we don't need it in any of our other stuff except for Internet Explorer so I wanna bring this out into the conditional statement that we have in our IE we set up for uh, for some other things we had we set up an IE if IE to use that IE.CSS well 
that's where I want to somehow put this 1% option and I think I could put that one percent I could start off by cleaning up my code and I have this fixed width in my th over here I could start by taking this out because now not all of them need it so I'm gonna take out this class from that so that artist the top artist thing up here doesn't get funky you see because it's almost off center now just because we have that class so if I refresh it all right, there it is. Um, and now, you know what? So I need to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that one percent call in Internet Explorer in artwork, since artwork is uh, all the other, all those, all those actual cells have the artwork class. I'm going to put the artwork class in here and set the width to one percent and see how that. That should bring us back to a bit closer in Internet Explorer to where we were. All right, so now now we're much better, but we're not quite there. I think what we could probably just add to this is a little padding. Why don't we add some? Um, why don't we add some padding left and see what that does? Oops, padding left. Why don't we say uh, 40 pixels maybe? And refresh it. Oh, is that good? No, no, it needs a little bit more. Why don't we do 50 pixels? Uh, a bit too much. Do you see where it's too much over there? Let me zoom in. You see how on the left hand side over here we still have some extra gray? I'm thinking that's probably. That's uh, probably about two pixels. So why don't I bring that down now? Two pixels to 48. Padding left 48, and I'll refresh it. Whoa! Look at that. That looks good there. So that looks good in Internet Explorer. It'll, does it look good in uh, Firefox? Not messed with Firefox's display, and it's all good in. Um, Safari as well.